Hi students, welcome back to this video. Today we are going to discuss from your sublimatory, it so happened, fourth chapter, the treasure within. Just look at the title, the treasure within. You will find the meaning for the, for the word treasure will be richness, wealth, money, like this. But if you take the exact sense from this lesson, it gives some other meaning, which could be hidden talent. See, everybody, uh, everybody has some talent. Okay. So here, the important uh, character of this uh, lesson, Mr. Hafiz uh, Contractor, this is the person who is going to be discussed in this lesson, the treasure within, Mr. Hafiz Contractor. He was very successful in uh, his uh, profession. Even though he was not much uh, interested uh, interested student when he was young, okay, he was not good at his studies, but still he was able to do something phenomenal. How it it how it was possible? Okay, that is what we are going to discuss uh, from the lesson, the treasure within. Before you read, see, every child is a potential achiever and is different from other children in her or his style of learning and area of interest. This is exactly uh, true. Okay, it is a true matter that we have to we we need to know about this. So the style of learning and the area of uh, interest will be differ from a student to other student. Okay. So everybody cannot show the same interest in same subject or same uh, area. So everybody's learning method and uh, area of interest will be uh, differ according to their own uh, mindset and own uh, atmosphere and the people those who are uh, hanging around. So uh, these are the reasons, these are the important uh, reasons uh, make them to uh, think about their real talent okay every child is a potential achiever and is uh, different from other child in her or his style of learning and area of interest so style of learning and area of interest will will be uh, differ okay we will be different from a student to other student see read the interview that follows okay there, there is so you we are going to talk about okay about this interview we are going to discuss in this video so read the interview that follows it is based on a conversation between mrs miss bella raja and editor of spas a newsletter from the resource center the valley school bangalore and mr hafiz contractor one of India's leading architects. Okay, he is one of India's leading architects. Part one: Hafiz contractor was an unhappy schoolboy. See, he was not happy student while he was happily. Okay, but detested, which means he disliked. What he disliked, mechanical learning, just mugging up without understanding clearly, just mugging up, he will not like, he won't like it, okay. He detested, he disliked mechanical learning. Mathematics gave him the severs. But when you talk about mathematics, it gives shivering, okay, because he doesn't, uh, he doesn't like mathematics. He is not at all good at maths. Okay, this is the problem he had when he was a student. What his principal once said to him influenced him deeply. Okay, something was said by his principal when he was a student that made him some changes on him. Okay, that affected him to 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 get some changes what is that let us read the 
conversation between the Avis contractor and Bella Raja. We will discuss about that. We will will be learning about that. See the first <coughs> Hafiz contractor. Okay, let's see. I used to have this terrible nightmare. Only now, over the last four to five years, it seems to have disappeared. I used to have this. terrible nightmare what is that nightmare which means a bad dream fear the uh, the dream which could cause you to get some fear okay that is nightmare which you don't like something which you don't really like i used to have this terrible nightmare only now over the last 4 or 5 years it seems to have disappeared now it, there is no nightmare at all for the last 4 5 years i am okay but before it was a terrible for me when i was when i am thinking about that what is that let us understand let us read and understand he bela raja he raised question what nightmare are you talking about and why do you think it has disappeared now okay you are saying that something uh, you are afraid of what is that and why it is disappear now why it is disappear now you are saying that now you are uh, uh, not afraid of that how what is that this is the question raised by bela raja hafiz contractor answers to that question i used to, to get continuous nightmares about appearing for a maths examination where i did not know anything okay now the psych must have got over it i don't have to think about education and there is absolutely no time to get nightmares so you said something nightmares what is that and also you said that it is disappear how how it disappeared tell me about that i want to know now he answers i used to, to get continuous nightmares about appearing for a max examination you he particularly talked about max examination already i told you when he when he was thinking about max examination he it would give shiver okay it would give uh, to hafiz contractor shivering so it is nightmare to hafiz contractor when particularly max examination now the psych must have gotten over it now it is okay i don't have to think about education okay now it is i'm just i got away i don't need to think about the examination so it is disappear and there is absolutely no time to get nightmares see nightmare haunting fear okay frightening dream and psych means mind or mentally so again bela raja tell us something about your earliest memories in school then she raised a question tell us something about your education your uh, uh, earliest memories in school then answer in the first and second year i was a good student okay see first and second year i was a good student after i reached the third standard i simply lost interest and i never study okay so first standard and second standard i was very good in studies but once i reached to third standard i simply lost the interest of study okay i never studied i used to be interested in games running around playing jokes and pranks on others okay i used to be interested in games running around playing jokes and pranks on others you know the meaning of the word pranks okay making tricks on others i would copy in class during exam times so I, as i told you i am 
not good in max and also i lost the interest in studies i used to be interested in games games running around playing jokes and pranks on others i would copy in class during exam time so i i never studied but i did something which is uh, not rele relevant of education just running around playing jokes and pranks so i would copy when exam comes i would copy in class during exam times i would try to get hold of the examination paper that had been prepared and study it okay i would try to get hold of the examination paper that had been prepared and study is study it as i could not remember things okay as i could not remember things that had been taught to me in class so whatever taught in the class i could not remember i would try to get hold of the examination paper that had been prepared and study it okay so i could not remember things whatever taught in that class however later one sentence spoken to me by my principal changed my life so this is the exact uh, situation where i am i was in school so i lost the interest in studies when i, I reached to third standard i just i only copied i used to, to copy Uh, but i did not so any interest in studies but i was so much interested in um, games and running around playing jokes and pranks so these are the things i was i was very much interested but not in studies however later one sentence spoken to me by my principal changed my life something has changed his life something was said by his principal what was that when i approached my 11th standard the principal called me and said look here look here sir i have been seeing you from day one okay so principal called him principal called the hafiz contractor and said something i have been seeing you from day one you are a good student i know you are a good student but you never studied okay you never studied but you are a good student but you never studied i have been seeing you i know you for long time from day one you are a good student i know that but you never studied i have taken care of you till today okay as of now i am the one who is taking care of you okay listen very carefully i have taken care of you till today still you are not good in studies but you are a good student you never studied okay i know you from the first day i have been seeing you i have taken care of you till today now i can no longer take you take care of you so you do it yourself now you are in 11th standard so i cannot i can no longer take care of you so it is your responsibility to take care of yourself okay do it yourself <clears throat> i am the one who ha who have been taking care of you for long from the first day now you are in 11th standard you are a good student i know you very well but you are not studying this is the problem i have been taking care of you for long time so i cannot do it any more okay i can no longer take care of you so it is your responsibility to take care of yourself i won't do that this is the sentence told by his principal to of his contractor he talked to me for 5 minutes okay the conversation happened between of his contractor and his principal for 5 minutes you don't have your father okay you don't have your father your mother has worked so hard to bring you up and paid all your fees all these years 
but you have only played games see my dear son you, you have no father your father died many years before your mother was working hard to give uh, this studies she is the one who paid your fees so but you have to study but you are not studying you only playing games now you should rise to the occasion and study okay so you just come up to uh, study okay you should rise to the occasion and study this is the time you have to start your study just to concentrate take responsibility and just to concentrate on studies i used to be a very good sportsman okay i was good in sports i had been the senior champion for so many years and i also was the cricket captain my school team captain i was the cricket captain i used to play every game but that year i did not step out onto the field every year i would go to play but that particular year i did not step out onto the field okay because something has changed him you know what changed his mindset his principles sent his principal made some uh, speech okay he gave some advice that made him some changes on him that made some changes on him okay i would go for prayers and all i would do was eat and study i would go for prayers and all i would do was eat and study okay eating and studying this is the, these are the two things only he was doing after that i normally used to, to copy and pass but i realized that once i was in ssc i could not do that okay normally i used to, to copy when i uh, till the 10th uh, uh, till 9th uh, standard or 10th standard okay but here he was in ssc here there is there won't be a chance of copying so i realized i could do that by i, I have to do my own so i realized that i realized that once i was in ssc i could not do that when i got a second class 50% in my ssc my principal said son consider yourself as having got a distinction okay consider yourself as having got a distinction so you, you got 50% but it is equal to the distinction you know why you were not interested you were you were not interested earlier but now you were you you are able to get 50% which means it is equal to distinction consider yourself as having got a distinction okay this is my memory of my school days this is the memory oh, okay this is the question raised to have his contractor uh, to talk about his Uh, school days okay what is your school days memories this is the question raised by bela raja and the answer was already as we narrated i did lots of other things see as for as my things are concerned i can't remember i forgot things very easily to remember i have to see things as a photograph i forgot things very easily to remember i have to see things as a photograph see this is the thing which happens so often what is that i if i see something i won't remember but if i read something i would forget i can't remember i forgot things very easily okay i for, i i tend to forget things very easily but i have to see things as a photograph if i have to remember i have to see things as a photograph if i see the picture i won't forget okay as far as my things are concerned which means perhaps he is referring to matters other than course materials and their details okay i have to see things as a photograph i read a book and i can remember the matter 
as a photograph but not through my mind that is how it works so whatever i see i would i would see it as a picture i will remember it if i see the things i won't remember okay so he is interested of um, doing something different uh, like pictures he remembers the pictures very well but he cannot he can't remember the other things so this 